got here? Fresh juice. Miss Speedy wants to make sure uh, I don't catch cold. All right, so what we got what we got here? What's in this thing? Got some carrots, some lemon, apples, turmeric, and ginger. So lots of vitamin C. Good for you. you should be able to see at night. Help my help my night vision. What you need? <laughs> Helps that old age. Mmm, tasty. Vita, are you gonna be good while I'm gone today? You gonna keep mom company? Hmm. What are you doing, Saturn? Will you sit? Will you sit for me? Sit, good girl. All right, Saturn. Give me a high five. You think we should go to the track today? All right, going to the track. All right, today at Speedy's Garage, Greg is here. We're taking his car up to Beach Bend to do some testing. So follow us along, let's see how he does. Probably about coming to the end of the fall colors in Middle Tennessee, but they sure are pretty this weekend. All right, so we're here at our normal rest stop in Kentucky. We always like to take a pit stop here and kind of check the uh, straps on the trailer make sure everything's still tight take a pit stop for ourselves everything looks good to go about 30 minutes from beach bend raceway Rolling up to Beach Bend now, and whenever we go to the track, we like to have a plan, like you've seen us say before. So uh, today is just testing tune. It's not really racing. We're literally testing uh, Greg's car out. He's made some changes to it. Uh, we ran it at Challenger Fest earlier this year, made a couple of upgrades since then. So we're out here to kind of test those out, see what we can do with it. We've got some goals. Um, we'll tell you about those in a little bit. And I'll let Greg tell you a little bit about his car, and what we've changed on it once we get up here and get settled in in the pits. Warm up the transmission. Hopefully, you can hear me over that dragster down there. You want warm fluids and a cool motor. So I just came across a demon in the staging lanes. We're going to try to see how this car runs. If we can catch a, a pass or two. It looks like it's a full interior demon. We've got the uh, regular tires on the front and the drag radials on the back. So we'll see how it goes.
Okay, so Greg has made a couple of passes. We're gonna review his data log here. Take a look and see what we see. He just ran that uh, that pass on just on just pump gas, so it was really just to get a feel for the track and so we could get a baseline, uh, a little bit of data to see how the car is doing. So now what I'm doing is I picked uh, engine coolant temp, your intake air temperature, the uh, spark advance, manifold air pressure, and barrel. We'll subtract barrel from manifold air pressure and that'll tell us boost. Yep. Uh, what's your mile per hour so I'll know when you cross the traps. Let's look at short term knock. You got any? That's 100. Let's see. Yeah, that that last burnout you did, perfect. Yeah, you you boom, you just blew them off and then, you know, had them smoking real good. That's exactly what you. Okay, so we've reviewed the data logs. Everything looks fine to me. Uh, no no short-term knock retard, making plenty of boost. Um, the difference is Greg has put a cam and a torque converter in the car recently, and we're curious if maybe we need to launch it at a higher RPM. It's not going as fast as we think it should. It's still pretty fast, but not as fast as we think it should with those changes. So we're gonna go back. He's gonna go down to the end of the track here and do a little uh, foot brake test to see how high up in the RPM range he can bring it before it starts to push, and that'll tell us where Kind of where he needs to launch from we think and then uh we're gonna try a, a race gas tune in the car as well and see if we can put race gas tune in it and then change his launching technique and see if we can get the uh time to come down quite a bit and then we're gonna go from there Yeah, this is a, this is a real racer's pit right here. <laughs> What's up, <man? laughs> so he's got a manual transmission. Can I open your door? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He's got the demon delete in there. I'm gonna prove it. That's a manual transmission. You can see the stick there. He's got his rear seat delete. How fast have you gone? He said his best time in the car is a 10.3 at 136, and that's moving for a uh, for a six-speed. Stock transmission, stock rear end. Stock trans, stock rear end. Come here and tell us about it. Don't be shy. So it's a pretty simple setup. Just got a 265 upper, pin crank, uh, email tune from OST, uh, race dance tune. That's it, man. Factory air box, factory transmission, 370 factory rear gear, factory axles. Um, and you're Ivory Cat on the forum, yeah, right? Ivory, Ivory Cat. Cat. Ivory Cat on Hellcat.org? Yep. That's gotcha. It. Okay. So it does have an aluminum one piece uh, drive shaft, a uh, uh, McLeod clutch, and a Martin shifter. That's it. 265 upper, regular lower? Regular lower. Regular lower. Yep. Pinned it. Pinned, yep. Okay. How much boost do you see? 16 pounds. 16 pounds. Okay. 265 upper. 10 3. 10 3 at 136. 136. Today, Today's my best trap speed at 138. Wow. Appreciate you. Yes, sir. Nice to meet you, too. All right, so, uh, yeah. Awesome. Cool. Cool. Thanks for talking to us, buddy. Yes, sir. All right, this next race is Chad and Jeff. Chad's got a six-speed Challenger. You saw him talking about that earlier. 265 fully. Uh, Jeff's got a built Cadillac CTSV. It's got a 416 stroker motor in it, running on E85. Probably has a pulley. I know it's got a cam. So they're about to line up. We're going to see what happens. we're leaving the track <clears throat> and things don't always go as planned um, we were trying to get Greg's car dialed in he's made a couple of changes to it like we mentioned the cam the converter 
Um, he's got a Arrington built 392 Ford stroker motor in there. It was a starter life as a 5.7. Uh, let's see, uh, Paramount transmission. He's got it shifting at about 6,700 on the RPM range. He's got the transmission is also tuned with a TCM. Um, tuning everything looks right. Air fuel's good, timing's good. We've tried both uh, the regular 93 octane uh, street tune as well as a uh, 109 or, or Q16 octane, K16 octane uh, race tune. The race tune obviously did make it go a little bit faster. He picked up a, a couple of tenths and a couple of mile an hour, but it's still not running as fast as we think it should. Bottom line is Greg thinks that the cam might actually be too big. And you can get into that kind of situation sometimes where everything's not working perfectly together. And so he's gonna have to go back and with it being that 5.7 based VVT motor, see what cam options might be available that he can switch this cam out. It was making peak torque at 5600 5, 5, RPM. 5, so peak torque at 5600 RPM might be too high considering the car shifts at 67. So it might not be, might not be staying in the torque band long enough for it to uh, really be effective there. So now we gotta go figure that out. I reviewed data logs from it. I don't see anything out of the ordinary. Um, it's making about 13 pounds of boost. Oh, I didn't mention it's got a Vortec, a Vortec supercharger, so it's a centrifugal, and it's making uh, 12 and a half to 13 pounds of boost. So nothing out of the ordinary there. So now we gotta go kind of figure out what's going on with the car and get that straightened out. So we made three passes, and on the timing, the timing slips, got them here. The biggest thing I see is the 60 foot. So it didn't see anything wrong in the in the data logs. Looks like the tunes are good, but the 60 foot. Greg normally would pull a 15 mid 15 low 15 60 foot, and on these they're all 17. He's got a 179, a 171, a 170. So the 60 foot's pretty far off, and so that that's just more indication there that it's not it's not launching off the line like he's used to it launching. So. He'll do some research and figure out how to get that squared away, get it fixed, back to the track. And after a long day at the track, we're always head over to uh, Smoky Bones to get us a steak and a beer. So that's kind of our tradition. So we're gonna head over there now, grab some dinner before we head back to Middle Tennessee. All right, man. Cheers to the next track. Good day. Another one down. That is a Kentucky Bourbon Barrel Ale, one of my favorite. Well, before I eat it all, I better show it to you. We've got sweet potato waffle fries, some steak. Greg got a steak and a baked potato. A little more uh, Kentucky Bourbon Barrel Ale, ready to go. So long, Smoky Bones. We'll see you next time. Okay, I'm back. Greg just dropped me off, and that's how it goes sometimes. I had hoped he would get out there and run low tens or something like that in his car. The DA was really good today. I need to look it up, but I'm gonna speculate that it was below a thousand. So um, weather definitely wasn't a factor. Data logs look good. I think it just boils down to um, an issue with the cam, we hope. So he's gonna do some research on that and see what options he has for cams. As we were driving back from Kentucky, I did take a look and there's a couple of cams that look like they're a little bit smaller um, than what he has in the car right now that might work out great. He's gonna make some phone calls. He's gonna type to talk to Mike at OST Dino, see what he recommends, make that change. Then we're gonna get the car back to the track and uh, hopefully have a much more successful test. However, that will have to be in the spring. We only have two weekends left uh, before Beach Bend closes and that's our local quarter mile track or the one we consider local. So the next time you see us go to the track, We'll be back in Go Man Go here, and the goal will be to set a personal best. Whole different ball game than going to a racing event and being consistent. We're just gonna be going for all out performance. We'll stage a little bit different. We won't uh, go in as far, try to kind of just barely light the bulb, that second bulb, and it will be for maximum performance and a personal best. So that's the goal, so stay tuned, that's what's next. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up. Be sure to hit subscribe if you haven't so you get notified of future content. Check us out on Instagram. It's at speedies underscore garage as well as our website, www.speediesgarage.net. And I'll be seeing you out there.